Uh, I think Toastmasters is great. Uh, I've got an awful lot from it. Being a member, um, just a sense of confidence in terms of being more comfortable and knowing how to speak better in public, feeling that I'm always, every time I go and every time I go to an event, I'm learning something a little bit more, and that's a, a great sense of personal development. And the, I suppose that on the, my personal side, the other side within is what I give back in terms of where people are and, you know, in terms of supporting them. And I suppose when you're always moving, you know, come, leaving your role or coming up to the end of your role, you're always thinking about developing for other people and succession planning and, you know, seeing somebody who mightn't have thought that they could do a role and encouraging that person to go for that role and then supporting them and seeing them blossom in the role. That's probably the greatest satisfaction. Who would toss past this influence you the most? Uh, two people in Toastmasters, one at club level, which is um, one of our founding and Kildare members, um, Eilish McCormick, um, particularly when I became president. Um, it was great to be able to tap, you know, sit down with somebody and to be able to get their experience and their perspective, um, especially when you're like a new president and you have an area contest to uh, organise, um, rather than trying to go through books and that, to sit down with somebody who's done there and give you the tips and rights. And probably and the other person is Ted Corcoran, um, who is the former international president of Toastmasters International. And I'm so lucky that he's on my high performance leadership team. Um, I've just learned so much from Ted's experience. Um, so I'd just like to say thanks to them and to everybody else um, in Toastmasters for everything I've learned. And I continue to learn from them. Uh, I think Toastmasters is great. Uh, I've got an awful lot from it. I've learned not just how to be more comfortable speaking in front of people, but also in terms of how you put a speech or a presentation together, which I think is very useful. Once you know how to put it together, then it's much easier to deliver it. And what I like about Toastmasters is that it's a great example of experiential learning, so that you can come along every two weeks and just practice, and it's a very warm and welcoming environment. And uh, people want you to do well, and you get lots of feedback in terms of uh, you know, how you might improve going into your next project. My first club was uh, Castle Knock way back in the 90s. I actually, when I lived in Dublin, I came for about four or five meetings and I never came back till 2009 when I moved to Kildare. My favourite speeches are probably work related, two I've done. One was um, when I, uh, in relation to two projects I worked on at the Irish Heart Foundation. One was about Happy Heart School and about CPR and about demonstrating CPR to my colleagues um, in the Toastmasters. And the last one, uh, one of my favourites, was in terms of um, On the Dry, a project I uh, developed or led the, um, was project lead for at the Irish Heart Foundation. I like being involved in supporting people and um, when the opportunity came for me, the first role I took, uh, or, uh, took up um, in my club in Kildare was v uh, VPPR, but my background is marketing and communication, so I wanted to be able to help out the club when the opportunity came up. Um, since then, um, I've obviously been VPPR, I've been club president, assistant area governor, and now area governor. So as the longer I'm in Toastmasters, the more I get from it, the more I feel I want to support others on their Toastmasters journeys. Currently, I am obviously candidate for Division D director. I'd love the opportunity to um, support the areas and the clubs and their members in Division D um, next year. See new ideas or uh, opportunities to either grow clubs or new form new clubs or support weaker ones. Um, and I think there's options that's worth exploring there. Um, I like to continue, in, I suppose, supporting um, both areas, areas, clubs, and their members on their continuing successful Toastmasters journeys. I think you, you de I've developed, uh, or I suppose, improved a lot of skills. So in terms of being more confident to speaking in front of people, um, improving your listening skills, um, giving feedback, which I found very good outside of Toastmasters as well. The, um, when speeches, you, know, you get feedback on your speeches, they're um, positive, but also include recommendations as to how you could improve or make them better the next time. Um, but it's all um, delivered by your colleague or by your the fellow members, fellow Toastmasters, in a very warm and positive environment. Here I've had six clubs to support, or support six clubs in Kildare, so I've enjoyed going around visiting all the clubs. Um, every club does things slightly differently, and I think that's nice to be able to see, take best practice, and to be able to share that with the clubs. So I'd like to be able to get out and visit um, the areas, meet the new area directors, and visit them, and um, I suppose get to know them a little bit better, and see what support they need, and what support that their clubs um, and their presidents need in turn.
and how best I could support that. I think a club that's, um, I suppose, very warm and welcoming when you go there, when everybody is involved in it, um, when there's a sense of team, like that everybody together, all of us are better than any of us. Um, and no matter whether, you know, obviously because Toastmasters involves volunteers, it can mean that sometimes, you know, an agenda somebody has had to, to not be able to do a role and how people get involved in it. So I think that warm, welcoming atmosphere, um, no matter what club you go into, you're very, once you're a member of Toastmasters, you're very welcome. Everybody's Toastmasters journey um, is different. Some are slow, some are long, some are short, some are, are, um, are very, very long. And I suppose I admire the people who have been in Toastmasters for maybe 20 or 30 years and they're still motivated to be there. Um, and I'd like to think that if I was, you know, had that opportunity to be still in Toastmasters in that period of time, that I'd be as motivated. Um, I've been very lucky to meet people in Toastmasters who've been there a long time and who've been very willing to actually share their experiences and their tips and their learnings. So overall, it's one of, I suppose I always say, um, no matter how good a speaker you think you'd be, you'd be so much better as a result of being in Toastmasters.